What's up guys, it's Kleos, and today we're going to be recapping our latest win against I Like CW Daily. So they're a league clan from the Netherlands, and we came out with the victory 71-66. Both sides did swag some attacks, but um, I think we would have come out with the victory either way. So, for our first hit, we're going to have Milo. First time being featured on the channel, coming in with the Zap Hybrid. He's gonna zap the CC and that Inferno Tower compartment. The goal with this is to set up pathing for the hybrid. Gonna be sending Queen in from the top to grab the town hall, creating a nice shoot for the hybrid straight through. I think he's gonna drop the SB Siege Barracks at three. King to follow the Queen in, and the Queen is gonna grab the town hall. Her healers are gonna be in range though, so that's unfortunate, but he's gonna rage quickly through it. Only got two heroes left, but there's not much DPS left for the queen. Okay, he's sending the hybrid in at eight. Makes more sense. Yeah, not much DPS left for the queen, even though she 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 just pops her ability, so she should be fine. Get through one of the expos, and she should coast. Only one heal for, or two heals for the hybrid and a warden, so not horribly, not horrible. He's gonna be able to make it work. Uses the headhunters to kill the enemy king so the miners don't get stuck on him for too long. Queen does go down, but he gets the healer switch. That's honestly more helpful than if she would have stayed up. Honestly, the base is pretty crushed. Not much left stopping the hybrid. Still ha even has the warden ability left. Honestly, could maybe even swag it because the warden's just not stepping up. And a nice hit from Milo. All right. Moving along, we've got number nine next. We've got Hogger coming in on number nine with Zap Wallow. Lots of Zap value here. Definitely an old meta base. Sweeper, Queen, CC, Eagle. But look at this Sui value he's gonna get. So he planned this. He wanted his king to pop in for the wizard tower and the archer tower and he wanted his queen to go towards the town hall this was planned he did not plan for the queen to go in to uh and get the multi now he planned her to get the town hall and the single delayed ice golem to help tank for the queen okay he might not plan king b in that exact wall but he did plan for queen to go to the town hall Sends in the slammer because there's the solo for a bunch of defenses because there's no air defenses. And from the rest, it's just Lalo. Five spells, whole army. Brings the dragon to help with cleanup in the slammer because the only thing that's really gonna maybe even stop him will be time. And you're gonna hasten to the expos, but nothing really stopping him. So many loons up and a nice warden too. The 
Great hit by Hog. Now we got number 16. We have Zach coming in with the Pekka Smash. So this is a base that gave us a little bit of trouble, but Zach came in and cleaned it up. So it's a really creative attack. And you're going to watch what he brings in the Slammer. Queen's going in for a little short queen walk to grab all this value and create a funnel for the Pekka Smash. Because when you want Pekka Smash to go straight through the base and not get distracted, you want the healers to switch onto the Pekkas and go through straight through the base. And when the Pekkas split, you're not getting as much healer value. So he sends in the Slammer at 12 to create the other side because there's great pathing for it. He brings in E Dragon the Slammer. Just look how much value this e drag is going to get. It splits off to the 212, which is great for him. And just look at all these defenses it's going to solo. Nice clutch baby dragon coming in with a grabbing a sand for the healers. And yeah, the base is crushed. Quad quick to open up the back end, and everything's just going to go straight down the middle. E Drag's even going to take out the Tesla farm. Nothing past to the other Inferno, but he's going to be fine. Got so many Pekkas left up and not a lot of defenses. Great hit from Zack. All right, for our next hit, we've got Evan coming in on number 19 with the great Queen Charge Lalo. So, when I saw this hit, I'm like, wow, nice nine wall breakers. We're so used to super wall breakers that we don't really see regular wall breaker, well, regular wall break charges anymore. So yeah, he sends in the king to create the funnel on one side and then he's gonna send the queen in straight in. He waits for the Archer Tower, I think, to go down before he sends his Wall Breaker so that he gets the junction. Sends another group in to get the second junction. Has to pop the Queen ability. And unfortunately, he loses all his Wall Breakers to a giant bomb. So that's not good. But it's not going to matter. He just created great pathing with this charge. Tons of spells for the Lalo. Freezing and hasting through the multis. Pops warding going through the eagle shots so that the eagle doesn't wreck all of his loons and the base is pretty much crushed. Gotta get cleanup down and he does. And great, great hit from Evan. This is kind of a mess of a war in general. We didn't do too great, but neither did they. So it's hard to tell because the funny story about this clan is we actually bored them like 35 days ago. And just like this war, they had like 20 attacks left to do with like two hours left. And we're like, are they attacking? Are they not attacking? So they're a CWL premier clan, actually. I'll show you the, them in a second. So great victory for us against a top-notch clan, even if they did not put their best effort forth.
So yeah. NDL Welter, CW Premier, good clan. And the funny story about that was we wore them 37 days ago and then. So good for us to get two wins against them. All right. So for our final hit, we have Soom, Sum, 721 coming in with the hybrid. First time being featured in a recap, so I had to get him in. And he's just gonna charge straight into the middle of his base and create some nice L shaped hybrid pathing. Siege Barracks coming in at 12 to help create the really narrow path for the hybrid. Does a great job being patient with the first heal and or warden. Gets really unlucky with the sweeper <laughs> blowing his healers back and then triggering a Sam. But yeah, first heal over the eagle and if you're allowed to be that patient on a base like he just was, it's wrecked. His queen is going to go down because she can't target the multi and it's going to wreck her healers, but it's not going to matter. He's got so much left up and so many spells because he was so patient on his first heal. Has to use the warden because everything's splitting, but he does have another freeze for that inferno. And the hogs are going to take it out, then that's the last major defense. Even has a heal for it too. So yeah, great war from us. Awesome to get a win against another good opponent. That makes it three in a row against League Clans for us, so Warlock looking really good. And it, actually four in a row, actually. So awesome to see this and see you guys in the next recap.